We've had this Trelay mixer now for a good eight or 10 years, and it's been a good mixer for us, but it's starting to wear out. Over time, the feed wears out the metal, so the, the lining in it, the walls and the floor are starting to get thin, and the screws themselves are wearing down as well. And we were thinking about getting it rebuilt just because you can do that cheaper than buying a new one, um, getting a new liner in it, new screws. But there's a couple of things about this mixer we don't love. So for one thing, it's not quite big enough. When our barn's full and our cows are really eaten, it gets really close to the top. So we'd like to have a mixer that's a little bit bigger. And the other thing is, this mixer doesn't empty out very well. So the screws, you can see how much feed's sitting on them. There's maybe a good 100 pounds in there. And that's with us kind of slamming it around once it's close to empty. So a lot of mixtures they make now with the two gears. So basically, you know, you want it in low gear when you're mixing and unloading, but then when you get to the end, you can switch it to high and it'll just clean those beaters off. So we have a Pets mixer that's gonna be coming today. He's gonna be here soon with it. So we're gonna hook that up and see how it works for us. I wanna unhook this mixer, but I really should get that feed off of there first. So I'm just gonna sweep those off and then we'll run that little bit of extra feed out. We may be using this mixer again, but we want to make sure we don't leave feed sitting in here even for a few days because it would start to mold and get gross. You can see with these augers, they were starting to wear down and get thin. And a few years ago, we went and welded all these plates on them around the edges. So that was something we added just to help keep it from wearing out so quick. This last batch was heifer feed, so I'm just going to go ahead and run it out right there. I'll just back it into the commodity barn right there so it's out of the weather. I don't want it filling up with rain. Looks like we lost 90 pounds there with what we ran out. That other mixture should be here very soon, so I'll show you guys that once it's here. So while I'm waiting for that mixture to show up, I want to hook up the weight to this tractor for packing silage. We're planning to probably chop uh, next week. Today's Friday, September 4th, so we're thinking about Monday chopping. We'll see, but that's kind of the plan as of now. So I want to get the weight on this tractor so we're set up and ready to go. So this is the uh, quick attach. I'm going to put this on first, and then we'll be able to just back up to the weight and hook right up to it. Here it is. This is a Pat's mixer. It's actually used and was rebuilt. So it was sort of like ours is now before and then they put a new liner in up to there. Around is brand new and then the screws are brand new. Yeah, this one's a little bigger capacity. And if you saw when they first pulled in, it actually had that black layer of belting around the top and it made it a little bit higher and gave it more capacity. We thought it was a little too high though to fit under our uh, auger there from our bin and the molasses tank and just to see in with the skid loader to have that extra height was unnecessary because This makes us plenty big as is we ended up taking that off and the guy just left took it along with him So we're gonna give it a try the design of this mixer is different than ours Ours is front unloading with the conveyor across the front and that's what I'm used to And we kind of like that I actually I was thinking this one was gonna be the same way, but I guess it's a side unloading. It does have a conveyor on it though. So it'll be interesting to see how this works. Maybe I'll like it, I don't know. Uh, one of the biggest differences with this one is it has two speeds. So this lever right here, right now it's in low. Uh, this cable goes up to the cab of the tractor. 
once you're done unloading, you can just pull that back to high and it'll clean off the beaters better and get all the rest of the feed out, so that'll be nice. So this afternoon we'll have to try mixing with it, see how it goes. So I'm ready to hook the weight onto this tractor. Last year when I put this weight on, it was the morning that we were starting to chop, and if you remember what happened, I can throw a clip of it in right here. So that is why we like to make sure things are working before we're ready to use them. Things seem to be working right now, so that's good. So we're ready to go, we're ready to chop, just gotta get the uh, corn fit. I'm getting started with the afternoon feeding now. This will be the first batch with this mixer. I was just down in the feed room and I got mineral and haylage. We're doing the dry cow batch right now. I'm gonna put the hay in and then we'll put silage in. starting to run out my first batch. My friend Mike was here helping me get going with it. Um, we're having a little issue. The machine is wider than our other one. And then with this side conveyor, it really sticks out far out the side. And you can see where my back tire is on the mixer. I'm right at the edge, of the, halfway off the concrete right, out, right now as it is. You can adjust how far down this conveyor comes. So we were kind of keeping it up higher so that it wasn't sticking out so far. The problem is this angle is so steep now the feed's just staying in there and it's kind of just falling back. So yeah, it's not working the best. I'm not sure if this is going to work for us. I'm going to try to get through the feeding. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but I have a feeling this mixer might not be what we're looking for. So he's adjusting it back down so it tilts down farther again. And we can get it empty. But I'm probably going to have to drive over there in the yard to get this to work and not throw it into the pen. on mixing the main milking cow batch now. I'm not gonna give up on it yet. We'll use it tonight, tomorrow morning, and then we'll see what happens. We made this ag bag a week ago, and we're feeding out of the bunk. We're not quite done. There's a little bit in there, but we wanna start mixing it now to help transition the cows. We're gonna put half and half in. I gotta get these stones off the front of the bag, and then we'll cut it back and scoop into it.
Doesn't smell bad. run feet out. It emptied out pretty good. I had to run it for a little while and high for it to get this empty, but it did do better than our mixer does. So yeah, I didn't mind it too much in this barn. It didn't really bother me that it was wider. It's mainly just that dry cow barn. I'm gonna run it again tomorrow. We'll see how it goes.